Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. It'll help with the ranking on YouTube. And please share my videos. Uh, this, I think, is important news. Evidently there, in the Puget Sound, the U.S. Navy made a sudden announcement about closing down um, dry docks there for nuclear ships and submarine repairs or retrofit. The dry docks, three at Puget Sound, Naval Shipyard and Intermediate Maintenance Facility in Bremerton, Washington, and the Delta Pier at the Trident Refit Facility in Bangor, Washington. They are still certified to overhaul nuclear submarines, but the Navy has decided to keep the dry docks empty, empty pending a further investigation. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of the uh, one dry dock. This area has been being used by the Navy since 1889, and I believe uh, the first one, the first dry dock, it very well could be this one, was built in 1909, and then five or six others were built in 1906. In 2001, there was a 6.8 earthquake that did um, millions of dollars of damage, and then they came in and spent millions of dollars in retrofitting this shipyard, and I suppose the other one, which is up over here, right there is... Uh, Bangor shipyard. Let me bring it in a little bit farther for you. They are saying that because of a seismic study from 2001 um, is the reason why they're shutting these down. Um, they brought in over a hundred specialists and what the specialists found seem to raise the threat supposedly i don't know but the timing i think is rather odd this area has always been seismically active they've had uh, large earthquakes in the past which never affected the shipyards in closing down in 1949 let's see if i can find it um there was an earthquake that created blowholes off over here okay I'll bring it out by a railroad yard it actually had geysers and blowholes that formed and I tried to find the areas um, it was near the railroad you can see the railroad uh, right here okay these are old railroad tracks but there was blowholes they didn't close down the shipyards because of, of those earthquakes seems like uh, they have large earthquakes near the Puget Sound every 20 to 40 years so I don't know if it's because of the recent uptick in earthquakes or because of the uh, 12 to 24,000 shift that our planet makes or if it's got anything to do with the uh, um, slowing down or reversing of our earth core or the magnetic pole re reversal that's supposed to be coming why all of a sudden they decided to close down these docks they are saying that the seismic assessment and expert validation enhances the navy's knowledge of the potential issues associated with large earthquakes occurring during a submarine maintenance availability reads a statement from the service here's another one that i found they're saying that it's not going to affect the uh, 14,000 people that work there at the shipyard or the docks, I should say, dry docks. They said, too, result of the findings from 2021, the Navy over the last week brought in over 100 experts from across the fleet and outside the service to assess the seismic risk to the dry docks. The risks are still not fully understood. And the risk is not localized there to the dry docks. They know it's across the entire northwest region. PNSY is the oldest of the six dry docks. It was built in 1901. And then there was either five or six more built in 1906. The dry docks that the Navy has closed are four of the newest ones. 
Dry Dock 4 and 5 were both built in the early 1940s, while Dry Dock 6, used for aircraft carrier overhauls, was completed in 1962. The Delta Dry Dock, that's 13 miles away in Bangor, was completed in the 1980s as part of the Navy support system for its nuclear ballistic missile submarine fleet. This here is an image of the USS Vincent that just came out of dry dock. Uh, the work was completed early, um, three to four days early, earlier than expected. I thought that was odd because usually everything is behind schedule. Then they say that the yards at um, Bremington and Bangor sit along a major fault line that runs from northern Vancouver Island to Cape Mendocino. That is the Cascadia uh, fault zone. So why all of a sudden, you know, are they so con so concerned about it? An overhaul of the dry docks would allow them to better sustain earthquake damage. And it could take anywhere between 18 to 24 months. And that was on based on uh, previous Navy assessments. But would that be from U.S. materials or materials we have to get from overseas? Because there's a big problem in, um, yeah, getting things that we need. Then you got the fact that we're already backlogged in nuclear submarines and vessel maintenance. So for months, they were winding down operations for the closure. And then all of a sudden, they brought in the 100 experts and said, nope, we're closing it now. Why? Does this have anything to do with reports of the Russian vessels? off our coast uh, the one off the east coast has a supersonic uh, nuclear warheads that would create a radioactive wave of over three miles high russian ships are always seen off the west coast so that's nothing new they are saying that dry dock number two will remain active um, it's currently working on the guided missile submarine ohio work on that submarine is supposed to be finished um, fairly soon. This here is an image of the USS Ohio. You know, the WHO made an announcement to countries to prepare for uh, nuclear contamination, be it on purpose or an accident, say from uh, a nuclear power plant or nuclear weapons. And they gave this warning to stock up right away, make it quick, to world governments they didn't tell the people but they probably put it out because they know people watch what's going on and we share it here in our community so now we got this something going on with the uh, uh cascadia fault zone that they're not telling us about that they know is coming like i said this this area has earthquakes large earthquakes there in the Pugent sound every 20 to 40 years the last major earthquake was in uh, 2001. Are they closing it down because of the threats by Russia and China? I don't know. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please thumbs up my videos. Please share. And always be prepared for some sort of disaster. Yeah, the government isn't going to tell us. Yeah. And, yeah, they're not going to come and save our butts if a disaster comes. We've seen that already from other recent events just within the last six months. And it's never too late to prepare. You can start now. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.